Hey everybody, I'm Tim Ward and welcome to Garden Sense. Well, we always get pretty busy around here around March 1st and well, let me just tell you this past week, we have been exceptionally busy. Thanks to you, product has been flying off the shelves. We're actually struggling to keep it in stock, uh, but don't worry, we've got all of our suppliers on notice and we've got more shipments of product coming in this week uh, as well as next week. So if you head over to rosensonline.com and you see that there are a couple of products that are out of stock, don't worry, they're coming back and they'll be back real soon. We've also been inundated with questions that you folks have been sending us uh, questions about your lawns, about your gardens, about your trees. So without wasting any more of your time, we've got about 10 questions that we want to get through here today. So why don't we jump right in? Question number one is from Alan. Hey Tim, we built a new home on property that was a former pasture. There are thistles in the undisturbed area of our lot, which will be grass. Is there a product to kill the thistle that's safe for children and pets? Or do I have to dig them out by the roots? So the answer to this question is actually a little bit complicated and it kind of depends a little bit on your tolerance level in terms of how long you'd have to keep people off of your grass or, or off of the area that's been sprayed or had any type of, of chemical applied to it. So personally, when it comes to thistles and any other type of, of broadleaf weeds, I really recommend Weed Beater Ultra. They have an RTU spray where you just hook it right up to your hose. I actually used this last fall when I was overseeding to kill any of the weeds that were in my, my grass and it worked really, really well. However, it's one of those types of products where it needs to dry. So once you apply it and it's dried, then it's safe for anybody, including your pets, to, to walk on without any issues. However, if that's something that, that maybe you're not comfortable with, maybe you can't keep the kids out of the area or your pets out of the area for say a day, then you might want to try a product. Uh, it's actually a new product. I have not personally used it, but we've read really, really great things about it called Natria. It's actually uh, an iron-based uh, product that will help fight lawn disease as well as kill a number of types of broadleaf weeds. And there are a few select uh, thistle varieties that are listed on the label. Again, I haven't tried it, but it is a, a natural product. So you wouldn't have any concerns if your uh, children or your pets ran into the area. And again, the, the, the surface of where you sprayed was, was still a little bit damp. Question number two is from Matt. Hey Tim, I planted eight knockout roses last spring and I fertilized them with Plant Trust in late July. They are in full sun and did great. I live in Olney, Maryland. They're starting to sprout. When do I prune them and how much should I prune them? So one of the great things about knockout roses is that they bloom off of new growth. Now the only time you don't want to prune your knockout roses would be in the late summer, early fall, simply because the plant may not have time to, to harden off that new growth before winter sets in. That being said, you can absolutely prune them right now. And by pruning them now, you, you may delay some of the blooms by a couple of weeks, but trust me, they're still gonna bloom. The next question is from Joyce. Hey Tim, can you tell me when I should fertilize and prune my rhododendrons and what fertilizer should I use? So the best time to prune your rhododendrons is actually late winter or very early spring while the plant is still dormant. So if you're not seeing any new growth yet, then you can go ahead and prune them. As far as fertilizing go, uh, you can do it now. I would absolutely recommend using Garden Trust. Uh, although Garden Trust is typically used for uh, you know, vegetables, flower gardens, bulbs, it has a balanced profile that rhododendrons really, really love. So again, if there's no new growth, you can absolutely prune them now and go ahead and put down some Garden Trust soon. It'll really, really help those rhododendrons pop when things warm up. Question number four is from Larry. Hey Tim, can I apply grass seed along with Turf Trust Broadleaf Weed Control with Gallery? So you definitely do not want to put down grass seed and gallery at the same time. What gallery actually does is creates a chemical barrier right on the soil surface that's going to prevent that seed from germinating and any other um, weeds, grass, anything that might be trying to break through the soil surface, gallery is going to stop that as well. So 
putting gallery down now after you've seeded is really just a waste of your time and money because again, that grass seed just simply isn't going to grow. Now, if you really want to seed your lawn now, and again, you know how we feel here at Garden Sense and Rosens Online, we highly, highly recommend that you wait until the fall to do any type of seeding. But if you're going to do it now, what you wanna do is get the grass seed down soon uh, once the soil is, is the right temperature and then wait till it comes up. And frankly, you wanna wait until you can mow it two or three times before putting down gallery. That'll make sure that that new grass isn't negatively impacted by, the, the, you know, by gallery and, and the other chemicals found within it. The next question is from William. Hey Tim, I just bought Kickstart. What hose and sprayer do you recommend? All right, so little show and tell right here. This is actually the Ortho Dial and Spray Hose End Applicator. The reason I brought this in is because this one's actually mine. In fact, you can see I've actually written Kickstart right here. And the reason that I did that is because I also use this to apply herbicides and I never want to confuse the two. So this one is dedicated for Kickstart only. One of the reasons I love it, especially for Kickstart, is Kickstart, you need one ounce of concentrate per one gallon of water. So real simply, all you need to do is fill the basin here and adjust this to one ounce and then go ahead and attach your hose end here and go to town. It works great. I've used it many, many times and we highly, highly recommend. You can find this product right over on Rosen's online. This question is from Lou. Hey Tim, is now a good time to dethatch a tall fescue lawn in southeastern Pennsylvania? So the best time to dethatch is actually the spring or the fall when the grass is actively growing. And the reason that it needs to be actively growing is when you dethatch, you can create bare spots. And well, again, if the grass is actively growing, those bare spots are gonna naturally fill in a lot quicker. So. Uh, what I always recommend for people who want to do it in the spring is wait until you've mowed the grass once or twice and then go ahead and dethatch your lawn. That again will minimize the amount of time that those bare spots are going to be there. And again, in, in that spring time, there's usually uh, enough rain and moisture, again, that's going to allow that grass to really grow. So you're not going to have to deal with those bare spots for lawn. The seventh question is from Lisa. Hey Tim, my flower bed has a massive amount of weeds. It has formed a carpet and it's impossible to pull up by hand. I would appreciate any suggestions on how to de-weed. So I highly recommend Grass Getter. Grass Getter is specifically formulated to kill broadleaf weeds, grassy weeds like crabgrass within a garden while not impacting the ornamental plants you have there, the desirable plants that you wanna make sure are not negatively impacted. We have it available over on Rosen's online. It's, it's a product that's been around for a while, but this is actually the first year that we have been carrying it. So again, head over to Rosen's online, look up Grass Getter. It's a really, really great product and I would highly, highly recommend it for this type of application. This question is from Nicholas. Hey Tim, we planted ivy in flower beds at the base of crab apple and pine trees several years ago. Now the ivy has climbed those trees and there's a lot of ivy now in the trees and branches and hanging down. Will that hurt the trees? So the answer to this question is no and yes. Now ivy isn't like some parasite that is living and sucking the life out of the trees that it's climbing. It's just climbing the trees and it's climbing them because it wants to get as much sunlight as possible and climbing up is the easiest way to do that. So again, it's not inherently hurting the tree, but over time, in this case, many, many years, that ivy can grow and expand and can actually uh, negatively impact your tree because now your tree isn't able to get as much sun, especially as that ivy starts to spread over the branches. Based on the picture that you sent in, I would definitely trim it back. Those look like some beautiful trees and I'd hate to see the ivy uh, hurt them in, in the coming years. So trim it back, you can still keep the ivy, but let's get it back to a little bit more manageable level. The last question is from Nazanin. Hey Tim, we have about two acres of land, which is mostly grass and part of it turned into an organic vegetable garden. The land sections are full of weeds, broadleaf and crabgrass mostly and I'd like to turn them into nice looking grass instead, but I don't want to use chemicals on the land. Any suggestions? 
So I mentioned this product a little bit earlier in this video, but Natria may be your best bet. Uh, the, the fact is trying to kill weeds organically without the use of, of chemicals is, is really, really tough because the chemicals simply work better. Uh, Natria though uh, does tout that it kills a variety of broadleaf weeds. And although I've never tried it, after researching it, and, and reading reviews about it, it seemed like it's a pretty good product. So you can actually find Natria right over on rosensonline.com. Head over to the weed control section. Uh, interestingly enough, the product also can be used uh, for certain types of lawn diseases. So again, if you're looking to keep things as organic as possible and to kill the existing weeds, Natria is your best bet. Couple final thoughts here, guys. We still have the Turf Trust Triple Play promotion running right now over at Rosen's Online. Now, before you get upset, we know that right now it currently says those items are out of stock. Well, we have plenty of Turf Trust uh, fertilizer. We have plenty of the Turf Trust gallery. What we're missing is the dimension. Folks, we had an order of dimension come in last week. We had a couple hundred bags. They're all gone. You guys bought them all up. So we really, really appreciate the business, but rest assured if you have not had a chance yet to take advantage of the Turf Trust Triple Play, it's not going anywhere. We're gonna run it for a couple of more weeks. We do anticipate having our uh, latest order with, with Pro Trust products arrive here Monday or Tuesday next week. So again, if you're looking for Dimension, check back early next week to see if it's back in stock. We really appreciate your patience and thank you so much if you're one of the people who placed your order with us in the last couple of days. It's been an absolutely crazy month of much, uh, March for us and we're only a couple of days in. Folks, thank you for spending so much time with us today. This is probably the longest video podcast we've ever done. And based on the feedback we're getting and the number of questions that we're getting, uh, I anticipate that we're gonna see more and more of this length in the future. I hope you guys have a great week. God bless.